From Asian to Nouvelle to the classic steakhouse, Aria offers an unparalleled collection of some of the world's finest chefs and dining experiences. Welcome to Blossom, a jewel box of a restaurant that serves up all kinds of Chinese cuisine, from classic to cutting edge. The menu, it's practically epic. It includes more than 100 items. Some of them require such careful preparation that they have to be ordered 24 hours in advance. Some of the savory highlights are the Dungeness crab fried with garlic and pepper, crisp fried Chilean sea bass, chicken breast with macadamia nuts, and even more popular, Mongolian beef. Here we are at Sage. The great thing about this restaurant is you can stop right here at the bar. I recommend trying one of the beers. Although the lineup periodically changes, Sage consistently features options on tap available nowhere else in Las Vegas, like the Chimay White served in its signature growler. This is the dining room at Sage, and this is my new favorite dish. Roasted scallops with braised oxtail and wild mushrooms. It's just one of the many distinctive creations by James Beard award-winning chef, Sean McLean. Chef McLean is famous for his fresh flavors, and even though Sage is located near the main lobby, you'd swear it was located next to a farm or right by the ocean. It's that fresh. The experience itself is also unique. Case in point, absinthe. If you haven't had this spirit, I highly suggest it. The ritual of the drink is as distinctive as its flavor. In other words, it's a journey into history and culture right at your table. This is Bab Masa from New York City's famous chef Masa Takeyama, the Michelin three-star award winner who's been called the sushi chef to the stars. Choose from what has become Chef Takeyama's legendary style of Japanese cuisine, brought to you a la carte, allowing you to enjoy the freshest ingredients and finest flavors from Japan. And for the perfect pairing, consider the extensive wine and sake list, featuring more than 350 hand-selected bottles. Let's step over to Shabu. Here, Chef Masa invites you to experience his handcrafted dishes with a prefixed menu that's constantly changing, showcasing the finest, freshest, and highest quality ingredients. It's called omakase style, and you can expect anywhere from 7 to 12 courses. It's part meal, part artistic performance, and all perfection. Note the Shabu Shabu cooking stations at every table. This style of cooking can be traced back to the ancient hot pot methods of food preparation. As you can see, here at Shabu, it's delivered with a modern flair and service that's nothing short of impeccable. This beef here is the highest grade of beef you can find in the United States. And it's totomo oishi desu, which means it's delicious. This is Julian Serrano, the namesake restaurant of one of the culinary world's true greats and the talent behind the celebrated Picasso at Bellagio. This restaurant is where Chef Serrano gets back to his roots with traditional foods from his native Spain. Tapas, paella, seafood, it's all prepared with this award-winning chef's signature flair. But don't take my word for it. Let's talk to the man himself. Chef Serrano, it's a pleasure to finally meet you and be in your restaurant. It is absolutely stunning here. And I'm looking at some pretty amazing dishes as well. What do we have here today? Well, we have uh, the food that we create here in the restaurant. It's called tapas. Tapas, OK. And uh, no, we have uh, the classical tapas that anybody go to Spain can try in any tapas bar. And also, we create the new tapas for somebody who wanted to be try something different. So you have the classics, and you have dishes that you've made just for this restaurant. Exactly, that's correct. And what is this over here? That is tuna raspberries, coated with sesame seed. Tuna and raspberry, yeah, right. amazing. And this here? This is a uh, lobster and apple. Mm. Well, you have to come down and try this tapas for yourself. And meet Chef Julian Serrano. I think I'm going to try some of this. What are you liking to try? You have many choices here. <sighs> I think we'll go with the lobster. Please. This time, let's start with a quiz. See this design behind me? Can you guess what it is? Go ahead, think for a minute. Give up? Okay, it's a cow's nose. Don't worry if you didn't see it at first. I didn't either. This design is just one of the surprises you can expect at Jean George Steakhouse. World renowned chef Jean George von Gerichten updates the time honored steakhouse tradition with a bold global influence. It's where fine cuts of beef and ocean fresh seafood flirt with Asian flavors. Take, for instance, the tuna tata with soy ginger dressing. 
the soy glazed short rib with apple jalapeno puree, or the just caught flavor of the chilled seafood platter. For the adventurous, I recommend trying what I'm having, the broiled bone marrow with Meyer lemon jam. Trust me, you'll love it. Imagine packing a fishing rod, a net, and wading boots in a truck and traveling America coast to coast, sampling fresh fish from local lakes and rivers along the way, and enjoying it all prepared the way locals do. Okay, now imagine doing all of that without the rod, the net, the truck, the boots, and all the tiring coast to coast travel. That's what you get here at American Fish. Celebrated chef Michael Mia's love letter to traditional ways of cooking fish and seafood all across the country. Come on, let's take a look in the kitchen. Michael Mina was inspired by the down-to-earth backyard flavors of America. The result is four distinctive, regional, and uncluttered preparations. Cast iron grilled, ocean water poached, sea salt baked, and wood grilled and smoked. From the cornmeal crusted rainbow trout to the salt baked prime rib, the cuisine here focuses on seasonality and sustainability. Most of the seafood, meats, and produce is gathered from the rivers, stables, and fields of the United States. Here's something to keep in mind while dining at Cereal Restaurante. When you order your dinner, remember you're not looking at a menu, you're actually looking at a life story told in food. At Sirio, the simple Tuscan cuisine is inspired by Mr. Maccioni's sense memories from food he's enjoyed throughout his lifetime. So let's roll up our sleeves and see what it's all about. It's time to see how simple Tuscan is done. I'm here with Chef Vancianzo at the Antipasti Bar. Chef, can you explain what antipasti is? Antipasti is the translation of appetizer, and here at Sirio is where the customer can build their own plates uh, on the selection of uh, cold cuts and cheeses that we have imported from Italy. And what are you slicing here today? I'm slicing uh, prosciutto San Daniele, uh, aged 24 months. Prosciutto? San Daniele. San Daniele. Yes. And you said it's aged 24 months? 24 months age, yes. And so can you tell the difference in the taste of the meat? Oh, absolutely. The more the age, uh, sweeter it gets. And so if I'm coming to the restaurant for the first time, I mean, there are so many choices here. Where do I start? Uh, I would say from the prosciutto, of course, and then going for the Parmigiano Reggiano and finish with the buffalo mozzarella. The buffalo mozzarella. There you have it. Simple Tuscan that's simply delicious. You should try some. If you like a little scene with your cuisine, Union is the place for you. Of course, there's more than edgy American cuisine and an energetic atmosphere. It's also a great place for conversation. So, let's talk about one of my favorite subjects, food. Thank you. This is the tomahawk ribeye, and it smells delicious. And it goes really well with one of their signature cocktails, the Berry Licious. Thank you so much. I think I'm going to enjoy this steak and I want you to enjoy one of our fantastic dining establishments.